that shallow stuff. There's one. There's one. Thought I'd seen some movement over there. Holy smokes. Whoa, 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 whoa. He just went bananas. Whoa, here we go. Yep, there he is. Yes, yes. Hey guys, how are we today? Jamie here from Cast Mag. Basically what I'm here to do today is to give you guys a little bit of an insight into what I do when it comes to fly fishing for brim on the flats. Now the first thing that comes to mind is what fly do you use? And of course that's the biggest question on everyone's lips. One of the main killer flies that I've found that's been an absolute game changer, stepping up from your smaller cha crazy Charlie patterns and smaller prawn and shrimp patterns, going through to something a little bit bigger. Now this fella isn't massive, but it's what we call a raw prawn. It's got the little tentacles down the bottom here, nice bit of orange dubbing on the actual stomach there. Good set of heavy eyes to really get the fly down quick and uh, some nice eyes at the top here as well. The two main colors that have been super productive for me, especially on the bigger fish, were the one that you've just seen here and also this olive prawn as well. Really, really good fly and believe me, it converts a lot of big fish. Righto, so I often also get asked but I want to chase them on top water. How do I catch brim on top water? Well, there's two flies that do it. One, the disco shrimp. It does have some stinger hooks coming off the back and it really does catch a lot of fish. Another one that I've found that's been a real big game changer for me is been this little fella. Now this one's, I've tied up myself, but this is a, a fly designed by a guy called Shannon Kinchener. Now this particular fly is what they call an SK skipping prawn for obvious reasons. It's tied on an articulated bar. Um, you adapt a treble to it. Little bit of acrylic over the top. I use some easy eyes here, which you can get through BWC flies. Uh, really cheap and so easy to tie on. Um, not only that, I don't know if you can hear this, but I've put a rattle chamber in this particular fella as well. As I said, tied on an articulated bar, a little bit of foam. Very, very easy to tie. Now, any of you brim fishers out there would know that a brim can be exceptionally skittish and they kiss and they swipe and they, and they don't really engulf a surface fly all the time. So having that treble on the bottom has been nothing but a game changer for me. Now, another thing that I really wanted to touch base with is leaders. I make all my own leaders. For me, three step downs in saltwater fly fishing, when I'm chasing kingfish and so forth, I only use two. Three step downs for brim fishing, I normally go 20, 12, and six, and around four foot of each. The rod that I'm using at the moment is a Loop Cross SX. This particular fella is a five weight. These are a dream to cast. Rods don't really get much better than this when it comes to, uh, when it comes to fly fishing. I use a Loop Evo Tech Reel on this particular fella, which is a five seven. Um, you can step up to a six or seven. Um, Brim will still put a big stretch in a seven weight rod or an eight weight without any drama at all, especially when you get the bigger fish. Um, but for me, I use a five weight, throw these bigger flies. I'm normally using a five or a six weight line with a shooting head, gets it a long distance. That way I can fish sort of that 12 to 15 foot leader and not have too much of a drama. It's been proving relatively good for me, so I can't say that um, everything I have done is perfected. Uh, what I want you guys to do is take from this as you will and adapt it to your local system and go out there and catch brim. Um, anyway guys, there's nothing left to do but to get out there, go catch a few fish and hopefully we can show you guys what this is all about. See you out on the water. Always double check that your fly is presenting well, clean it up, make it look nice. There was a couple of scales in that fly so I've uh, jammed one, I've just missed him. Little fella, this one, but still sick. And that would probably be one of the smallest brim I've caught in the last few weeks. As you can see, there's no hesitation on the size of the fly that these guys will eat. Little fella, you beauty. Yeah, definitely moving up onto this flat to feed, obviously. Really cool. That's it, that's it. Oh, big ray right there. They still don't seem to have spooked. They're still there. 
Here we go. Yep, there he is. Yes! Yes! That was so sick. He just led straight out of that pack and just belted that. I don't know if he's one of the bigger ones. Nah, he's only a pup. But that was wicked to see. Oh. I'll get him in and we'll have a look. Only one of the small fellas, unfortunately. But still goes to show it's doable. And I can see more fish right here now. Oh shit, this is good. This is real good. Is he interested? Yep, here he comes. They're literally all through here at the moment, which is pretty cool. One came in and had a look. Maybe it wasn't quick enough for him. There's one. There's one. Thought I seen some movement over there. Holy smokes. Whoa, 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 whoa. He just went bananas. Whoa, I'm hoping this is the fish. Whoa. They don't normally go that nuts once they just, just tap the fly. Um, I've had them, you know, once they, once they get plus 40 fork, they tend to, yeah, he's running towards me now. Might have just been a spooky little one. But yeah, well, oh, I don't know about that. He looked all right then. He looked quite all right. He's all right. But holy crap, he just went nuts. That is cool, man. He's a nice fish. Let me net. Oh, he's a, he's a good little fish. There he is. Nice one. Pinned in the corner of the jaw. Oh, look at this. Oh, that was bloody lucky. Anyway, nice fish. Really, really enjoying this. Might have to get out there and spot a couple more and uh, yeah, go get amongst them. There's one. Oh shit. Right in that shallow stuff. Feels like a real good fish. Yeah, nice one. Not that big. Not happy, but. Again, just polling the flats here, folks. Oh, this brute's got me buckled. Oh, nice little fish. Oh, another solid one. Beautiful. Another quality one. You know, it's first to second cast, probably a 35. Um, yeah, straight off the flat, beautiful. Phew! Oh shit, there's one. I was just about to say this is way too shallow, but um, oh, look at him go! Straight across the flat. This is wild, man. You can see why I love my saltwater fly fishing. These things just barrel. He's doing a loop right around behind me now. I'm gonna get this fella on the reel, I think. I don't know if he's big or small. He's just running, doing loops around me, pretty much. Shit. This is what you call fishing. Fishing in reverse. Woo! I'm gonna have to try and get him back around this way. Whoa. Whoa, man. He's going. Then again, I'm drifting pretty quick. This is fish is having to keep up with me. Oh. Yeah, man. Another sick one. Beautiful. Another nice fish there. Been a little bit smaller. Might push back up onto that flat. I think there's a couple of late ones hanging around. Then again, I'm coming up to a nice little spot here. Might just have one more cast here. See you later, little fella. And uh, just see if I can smack one more. Just put one over the back there in the deep water. Oh shit! Whoa! Straight out of that deep pocket. That was a nice one. Oh, just belted me. Now he's just ripping me from behind. Hard fishing in this kayak. I can't really turn around. Um, I'll lose me balance. I'm in pretty deep water here. Um, got the camera up the front. Do not want to lose this camera. Whoa, man. No. 
Just dropped him.